Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. Is Daniel Medvedev string making him play better? He has a new string. He has made the switch from Technifiber Racer Code White, which he used previously, to the new Racer Soft. He has won four tournaments and reached one final with the string so far, so it seems to work for him. Does that mean that it works for us? Definitely not. So uh, let's have a look at the new Racer Soft. Despite the name, the Racer Soft is not really a soft string. It offers more pocketing than Racer Code and plays with excellent control, but I would say it's a relatively firm poly in the area of RPM Blast and Luxlum 4G. That's kind of high quality polyester for players that break strings, that like maximum control. But this one has perhaps a bit of a more softer feel than those strings, but it's not a soft poly. It is actually constructed with the same material as Razor Code, but with an added flexible additive at its core to give it a better pocketing and feel. In my opinion, the feel is better than Razor Code, so I think it does its job there. Uh, it only comes in carbon color gauges 120, 125 and 130. These are the standard gauges you find for most strings. Go thicker for more durability and control, go thinner for more power and feel. Technifiber recommends not to string it lower than 22 kilos and also writes on their website that it's highly recommended for rackets over 300 grams, meaning that this string is for more advanced players and I would agree. I don't think uh, intermediate players should play with a very stiff poly. It's not ultra stiff, but it's, it's in the firmer side. I tested Razor Soft in a bunch of rackets, the Pure Drive 98 from Babula, the Solinko Whiteout 1820 and the Pro Staff 97. Played with excellent control straight from the bat, seems to hold tension pretty well. As is standard with most polyester strings, in my experience it plays the best a kind of one hour into the playtest. When they come straight off the stringer, it's not usually the best feel, it feels a little bit firmer. But then one hour it has softened up and, and opened up a bit more and it plays better. I tested it with the tensions from 22 kilos to 24 kilos. Really like the slightly higher tension, the better. And I think it's a string that really plays well in that kind of 24 kilo range, which is 53 pounds. In the stiff pure drive, it actually didn't feel harsh, which is good praise. And in the Solinko Whiteout, it offered excellent control. Is it the kind of head hawk touch of Technifiber? No, I would say it's not as elastic as that kind of string. It's more firm and dead in the response. That's why I mentioned these other flagship strings to compare it to. It's firm but not harsh, I think it's the best way of putting it. Gave me excellent control on full swings. I think people that break a lot of strings will like it because it's quite durable. Offered a bit better pocketing than other Technifiber polys I've tested. So this might become one of my go-to strings. I really enjoyed it in all the rackets I tried it in. And the players who tested it alongside me were also impressed with the response from Racer Soft. So if you want to check it out or any other tennis gear and support Tennis Nerd, please do so using the affiliate links in the description below. Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe and Tennis Only. And if you want to find a perfect string for your game, check out the Tennis Nerd store. That's all for this review. Have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.